My client came in with completely virgin hair and wanted to go as close to as silvery white as possible. She also wanted to chop a few inches since her hair had gotten so long over quarantine, so before starting the color, I got rid of some excess length. I went in and did a full head of back-to-back -back slices, painting upwards, leaving about half an inch on the scalp so that I can easily apply a shadow root. When I do a double process, the most important thing I focus on is saturation. When I remove the foils, you never see any dark spots because I make sure the lightener is applied evenly. I let each section process in 10 minute intervals, checking until it's lifted enough to match the inside of a banana peel. I shadowed her root with 789 from Color Touch and glossed her hair with 10 SP from Guy 10. She looked so beautiful with her new hair. Hey guys, I'm going to spell some Indian hair secrets just this one time, so if your hair is falling, I got you. In 2019, I lost nearly half my hair and I was able to go back using these techniques, one of them being Ayurvedic hair massages. Ancient Indian Ayurveda talks about certain pressure points that when pressed and massage cause massive amounts of hair growth. The first spot is eight fingers above your brows, it is your center of yogic spiritual healing. So massaging this point helps massively with hair growth. And if you have a premature receding hairline or bald patches near your forehead, massaging this pressure point helps cure. It. The second point is 12 fingers above your brows. Ayurveda calls this the skull spot and it's the highest point on your body. Due to gravitational pull, it receives the least amount of blood flow. So that's why balding starts at the skull spot. The final pressure point lies four fingers above the nape of your neck. It's crucial to massage if you spend a ton of time in front of the computer. Being this high up, the point doesn't receive as much oxygen and nutrition carried by the bloodstream. Tilting your head makes the blood rush to your scalp, nourishing hair follicles and making them grow. More hair secrets on my Instagram. Bye! I got lots of requests. Middle part, curling my hair. Let's give it a go. Hello. Oh yeah. Hmm, might leave it like this. Oh, might leave it like this. I feel like a woman. I just bought this stuff, my hairdresser said it was good. I'm gonna go blow dry, but I'm not gonna take you with me. It would be kinda loud. Transition two. I hate these hairs. Like, what is his deal? This guy's next. It doesn't say, but I think it's one and a quarter or one and a half, and it's called Hot Shot Tools. I probably got it at TJ Maxx. Let's go. Halfway. This is an endeavor. I think I'm done. Makeup. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm ready! <laughs> She's ready! Ah! I've had this for about a month and obviously she growing out. So let's try to take this out before I try to put any red in my hair. If you've ever tried to do your hair before, I'm sure you've watched that video on YouTube of this girl that takes her hair from fully pink to blonde again with no bleach. She only did it with this soap, baking soda, um, 10 volume developer, and shampoo. Don't ask me how it worked, but it worked on my friend who had pink hair, so I'm gonna try it on my blue hair. Just to put equal parts of all these ingredients, <laughs> like we're baking a cake, um, I'm just gonna measure it with this little thing. I think I'm gonna do like two ounces of each. I show first. I just have, I have blue shampoo. I got just some 10 volume developer and some baking soda. I hope to see if this actually works.
My client came in wanting to start the process of removing her black box dye of three years, so the first thing I did was a test strand. Although the test strand was still pretty brassy, it was even, and that's all we needed to start the process, so we did a full head of weave balayage. Sometimes after years of box color, there's too much buildup and only some parts of the hair will lift while others will remain black. After rinsing her hair, I tested the smoky purple color to see if it would cover all the brassiness and we were so excited that it did. We were so in love with the outcome and her hair was still so healthy and shiny and truly a miracle of a first process.